For example, I have here an ID how this is look like. I mean, you have here a cross section, and you see a goat with some uh, embedded uh, material and a profile. And this profile is really special because it is a very small one. Normally, you need a high one because you need resistance against bending. And therefore, you need a high rail because otherwise you don't have this bending. And therefore, this small rail helps, and it looks like it's not good, but this one helps to get rid of noise. And this noise is really low and it will save you more than 3 dBA. And that's also nice because we don't like noise in, in railway business. But you can have this low profile because you have a big resistance against bending because of the construction of embedded rail. Another way is that we have here with, with concrete and we have blocks in between and you can just make normal track what we have here uh, as you can see outside. So you need just normal uh, track. This looks like sleepers but it is embedded in concrete plates and these are blocks. You also meld them together with concrete. I think that's another way of embedded rail. This is what we use sometimes in, in tunnels in Holland. Here I see two specimens about embedded rail uh, in a low profile and a high profile. And there you can see also the differences. Uh, but in stiffness, it could be the same when you make it in this construction.